Hello everyone, welcome back once again. And first of all, thank you for subscribing my channel. This is a small announcement on the new AWS batch, which I'm going to start from 27th April. So let me quickly share the details around the same. So uh, I'll go to my website under blogs, latest blog. So in this training, I'm trying to cover AWS sysops and architect associate course content uh, within this training program. So uh, as I mentioned, it starts from 27th April and you guys can directly join to the latest batch WhatsApp group. Also, you can use this link to join the uh, live session on uh, 27th and the timing is morning, 8.32, 945 IST. So this link is valid for an initial uh, few demo sessions. So, and uh, the prerequisites, uh, pretty simple, at least a Windows or Linux uh, administration skills will help you to gain some sort of a uh, administration skill set, which is required for SysOps day-to-day -day operations, right? And any other cloud experience like Azure or GCP is an, a value add for this training. Also, if you have any sort of a on-premise virtualization experience like Hyper-V or VMware, your cloud training will be more easier, right? As I mentioned, the fee is 12,000 here, and I'll take this in two installments, right? If you guys have any questions, you can WhatsApp me or call me on this number, or you can drop a note on this. Okay, and you can register uh, the training from here. The payment options are not enabled yet, but you can, you can still uh, view and uh, check the course content and other stuff here. So a um, couple of demo sessions were already up uploaded here. You can uh, watch the demo sessions, right? And you can go to my website and go to playlist. You will see latest demos are already uploaded here. So you can see the latest AWS demos are already uploaded here. Right. So let me quickly share the course content. So I'll go to courses. AWS. Right. So in this training, as I mentioned, SysOps and Architect Associate. These two uh, modules will try and cover. So we'll start with the introduction to cloud, right? And then we'll focus on mm. AWS networking, right? And then AWS EC2 compute and how you can design and deploy and manage the high available solutions within the AWS using the various components, right? And in terms of day-to-day -day operations, how you can use the systems manager and operate your uh, infrastructure from a customer standpoint, supporting uh, your day-to-day -day operations, right? And uh, let's talk about storage here. So in S3 and various uh, types of storage is available in AWS and uh, how you can use it in your customer places in real time. We'll try and discuss. Then we'll move on to databases and we'll try and spend some time on monitoring, reporting and alerting mechanism, how we can set up those stuff in AWS, right? And then uh, more important security, right? So how you can provide the authentication authorization and various level of security for infrastructure application and then third party integrations or API management or any sort of uh, uh, security related stuff within the AWS, right? And then we'll spend some time on microservices like Docker, right? How you can uh, deploy Docker, how you can uh, deploy the EKS and uh, other services in AWS, right? And we'll talk about migration from on-premise to AWS, how you can migrate your workloads. It can be a server, it can be a database, it can be an application, how you will assess and migrate the data from on-premise to AWS using various services that are available. So in this, uh, the SMS, I think server migration service is going to be uh, discontinued or decommissioned in the near future. So in, the replacement for this is MGN, the migration services, uh, which is a replacement of, or which is an adoption of Cloud Endure. So we'll try and use the Cloud Endure to do the migration. So that is a one change I need to update in the course content. We'll do that later on. And then I uh, will talk about uh, your developer tools like your AWS code, commit code repository pipelines and how you can uh, do a CSCD deployments for your various applications. It can be IAS, PaaS, or any sort of applications which is deployed on AWS, right? And then automation, uh, how you can automate the deployments using Terraform or using uh, your cloud formation templates and other stuff, right? And then your day-to-day uh, -day operations. So, Let's say if you're working as an AWS SysOps admin or a, a cloud administrator, 
how you will spend your 40 hours of week and now what what sort of a day to day operations that you perform in terms of your uh, customer delivery so that we will uh, try and cover at the end of the trip right as i mentioned the batch starts from 27th april so that, that goes till uh, end of the june i believe so may and june i'll consider uh, two months right so you can utilize this time and uh, let's join on 27th and all the best thank you all